So, as we slowly figure out what we're doing, I think we got the balancer figured out. It's always a game with the different cups and adapters. Every other balancer I've used, same kind of game you play a little bit. We're now going through and doing our first set, replacing the old tires with something slightly newer. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh a day in the life of expert YouTuber here. Uh get home from school. Grandpa's waiting in the driveway because he needed help with something. So I'm gonna go help him. We pull up right here with that mighty, mighty vehicle right there. And then I hop out, talk to him quick, walk over here, and I'm like, oh. Hey, I hear air leaking out of something. Nail of sorts or something on the tire. Grit, you know. Kinda sucks, but you know. Well, we just kinda like just set up, you know, like a tire changer like a few days ago. So, we got one, so we can fix that. So, We gotta prepare to take it off and then take it off and then start uh, putting a patch in it because we bought a ton of patches. Because we just bought everything we might need. It was a good idea. Okay. Well, I'll get back to you. So we're in the shop with our fancy dancy tire machines. So we used some tire lubricant, lubricated the spot on either side just to break the bead so you know lubricant's okay the lubricant's good for this so we had one of these that was that, was, that came a little smashed up we put it back it's it's okay right here so i sent into a new one which is much appreciated so you can tell it's a little, slightly different color which is okay so now we're gonna break the bead We already took the valve stem core and stuff out. I can't roll it because we only lubricated a specific location. Can I go back? Oh, I can't. Okay. Is that the right way? Uh huh. Yeah, so, yeah. it didn't do anything. Yeah, it broke the bead. Did it? Yeah. See how there's a gap here? Oh, I pushed it over more than that. Pushed it off, I came right back again. As long as you break the spot at one, you can work your way around. Is it broken on the other side? Or turn it around? Or what? Uh, you have to turn it around. So we'll, we'll start on this side, so. Look. You see how it's on the it's on the right. I can't there. see it's too dark. You got a light? Come up from underneath and look. I can't get down there, so I'll get you a light. Oh. So you can see. Okay. Now it's gotta be a little good. Yep. We're gonna move it. This is where you wanna start right here. Okay, you never wanna that one's gotta be the last part that comes off, I think. Uh, we 
Rick with the one tire iron. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rick for the weapon. You go farther in than that. It has to be. Because, uh, I'll show you. Um, I can put this on here. And then you hook this in right here, underneath, and then this rides on this face. Edge of the wheel, it's a little plastic piece back here. That was easy. Okay. Now what? Look for. Oh wow! That's long. Yeah. It's like a full blown bolt. So we're needing another spoon on this side over here, right? Hold on, she's coming out. Oh, hey. That's not throwing away then. So it's coming out. It's off, off is off. We just had to go around a few times because of this short side wall. So where's the hole? Where's the hole? Where'd the hole go? Mark it, right? So we want, you like to, oh, we need to drop anymore. So we want the hole to be where we can get to it. So put the hole like right here, up here. This is where they sell, they sell the kit that connects on here. To hold oh, the hey, there's already been one, one patch right here. Or there's already been a patch there. Not, not, not quite where we were, but oh, our holes right there was here. A patch there. Did we have this patch? Yeah, we had this patch once. It looks like. There's no reason to start stacking ourselves in the corner. Through the put a metal thing on that so you can grab it, pull it through. Okay. You might. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. One patch there already. Here comes patch number two. We have three percent battery. <laughs> Four more tires have been balanced with our Derek Weaver computer balancer. And four more tires have been dismounted and mounted on our Derek Weaver tire machine. So we are keeping track in a book, in a book called Tiger Stuff on how long it'll take to pay for these when we don't want to go to a tire shop anymore. And we're up to a total of how much? $180 saved. $180 saved. Because we had to do a emergency repair on our 2010 uh, Chevrolet Suburban. Half ton Suburban. 1500. And then we had to do a quick dismount on um, this of another Suburban with, uh, you know, some swanky 20, 22s. Swanky 22s. So we got a bad tire. The, the beads tore. The, uh, that tire and wheel were uh, in an accident on the vehicle, so we got to see what we're going to do. Um, and then we did four sets. Or a set of four. For a, 20, uh, for a 2011 11? Silverado. Silverado. And by the, way, by the way, the wheels that have the chrome that's built in, that's terrible. For putting wheel weights on. That's terrible. But anyway. So, uh, total cost for everything here was about 30... 3600 even. 3600 ish for uh, 
a decent balancer and a decent tire changer. No, I, 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 these are actually probably the best on the market. Yeah. So they're not, you know, your Amazon specials, but they're not Ben Pack. Um, or your John Bean, which is the Snap-on. Yeah, we're not that. But this works great. Um, our air compressor is a little, it's a little lower than recommended for max pressure, but we've been doing pretty good. Um, even with the bead breaker, which is where you need the big power, we've not had anything we can't get off yet. So we might, but we will see. We can always do other things with that. Uh, but we will continue to review some new equipment here. Um, if you would have told me 10 years ago, or even five years ago, that we would have access to this whenever we need it, I would have said, no way. Uh, but no, this is, we're pretty blessed to have this. So, so the nice thing is, is uh, if you ever you know, need to replace your rear tires for any reason, it's easier to do right here at Minnesota is rust. It doesn't quite work for the rust ones. Yes, our uh, or bicycle or tires don't work so good. We know these ones. Those don't work so good, but. Um, yeah, this one I think it will do 24 uh, with an outside clamp, and I think 20s with an inside clamp. Um, uh, Uno reverse card that. We're going to reverse card that. So, like I said, we did, we've done 22s, we've done 17s, we've done 18s. Uh, in the fleet, we go probably as small as 14s for, um, I like trailer tires and 15s on some of the dailies that the children have. Uh, this is what was recommended to use, uh, Murphy's. Um, it, it tastes good. Mm, you need some chips to eat there. Uh, so we're trying that. We might try some other stuff too. But this has worked pretty well. So overall, no complaints. And uh, it's just like cotton. It's like, well, I don't know. So don't eat that. Whatever. Okay, with that being said, thank you much. Happy, today's a Saturday, right? Saturday the 14th. Uh, this morning we went to the Frankensteiner's car show. You'll see a video of that on the channel. Uh, we got rained out a little bit, but we were able to get some good stuff there before it got too rainy. Too rainy. Okay. You know, another use for your... <laughs> tap that. Tappy tap. Right there. Right there. Okay. You're going to behave. And Derek Avery.